15, second round of League One, first away game of the season, and we've come away with a victory, a very hard fought victory. Yeah, you can't knock the players' effort levels, the, the willingness to work for each other and, and the fight and the desire. Um, we've just got to get better at, at starting the game. Um, in the Challenge Cup and in pre season, we, we started better than we, than we did today and last week. Uh, we changed the starting starting middles and, and that didn't have the impact that I, that I wanted <clears throat> and also going 10 nil down give us a lot a lot to do but I was really impressed with the way the boys went about the business uh, and then we pulled away and we were the better side and, and really comfortable and then when it started to get comfy that's when we started to, to either go back to old habits or, or we just just made it up and, and we're not a team that can make it up we have to stick to the, the structures that we're playing and how we want to play in order to be the better side and I think um, we summed it up, we scored from a crossfield kick and we think we can score from the next crossfield kick when we don't we should just finish in a corner yeah. stack in and really ramp up and, and be defensively solid and that's the difference to, for the very best teams that are able to do that and you, you'll see that in, in the NRL and the, the top two play games I was talking to, to their video man just as we were packing up and it, it had very much shades of last year when, when we played here where we were the side that got in front and then Rochdale pegged us back whereas it was the <coughs> reverse this year where Rochdale got off to the better start in the game. Any Anything that springs out as to, to why we, we were that a little bit slower to start? <sighs> to be fair, we obviously we received and we exited well. We kicked deep too deep, seven tackle set, they scored. On the next play, we didn't. We, we went set for set a little bit and then we decided to give away a penalty. They've come in our half and, and they've gone, but that was on the back of, again, another poor kick. Seven tackle set, they've rolled us again and, and we can't do that. The way we finish and the way we're built to finish as a squad is very much get it in the corner and we'll be really good defensively. Let's make them kick out of their fort and let's make it difficult for them. And when we don't finish well, or if we if we challenge for a kick that's not on, we've got to be very selective in the in the way we go for it. And we didn't do that. I don't know if it's because we were, we were buzzed up and, and full of energy coming out, because the lads were saying the, the warm up was really good and the, they, were, they were buzzing to go at them. Uh, but we just need to make sure that we're a little bit more professional with the way we start and finish our sets. And then when Matty and Harry did, they finished the sets a lot better. And we got back into what traditional people say is the arm wrestle, and, and we came mm -hmm. out on top, even though they were a lot bigger than us. We moved them around and we found the path with least resistance. Does it please you that even though we did end up going, I think it was 10 0 down, we, we managed to find a way <clears> to, to get back into that arm wrestle and, and get back into the game? Yeah, massively. I think our bench was huge for us. I thought Ethan O'Hanlon was outstanding today. I thought he really changed the tempo. We started to blow them around the rook. He was too fast, he was too big. Spencer Darley played big minutes and so did Canberra. I was really impressed with them three when they came off the bench. But it was a challenge because against Keithley they, they got a bit a bit battered uh, and, and Lewis Hatton and that came on and, and, and destroyed us. Whereas last week and this week they've made a, a real good impact but especially this week they changed the game for us then three. And then Rochdale pegged us back to, to 20 apiece and, and again did some some sides can panic and throw long passes out that go into touch or find a touch judge or whatever and were you happy with the, the, the composure <coughs> that we showed at that point? Yeah, um, huge credit and, and again we, we, we made a change, Ethan came back into the game, he took a really good carry, really direct and then even though we were in shape we've gone back inside to Harvey Hallis again direct and, and again we, we were very controlled uh, Matt Eberhardt takes a lot, a lot of credit for that in that five, ten minute play. He was really good. I thought Harry Williams on the flip side was a real run threat today um, and, and deserved his try. But Matt was really composed, allowed us to tick. Um, and in that five minutes, he really settled us down. There was, there was no need to panic. And, uh, we should have just finished the game a little bit better. Obviously, they scored again, which, which caused us a, a problem. I suppose the, <clears throat> the only downside from today is that we've lost a player from both sides the field. Um, Will yeah. Adams looks as though he's done his shoulder again and, and Jack Render went off. Yeah, we're, uh, we're unsure on Jack. We, he's got a, a groin issue. Um, we'll, we'll monitor him and make sure he's 50-50 he's probably for the Keefley game. Will Adams, we're, we're unsure. That's his second shoulder injury. That's the one where he challenged for the crossfield kick. Um, and he's come down, he's in a bad way at the minute as well. Um, but hopefully we'll see him back uh, in a couple of weeks. He, he's definitely not going to be available for the Keefley game. Well, well, short turnaround for the Keithley game. Um, sometimes that's a help, sometimes a bit of a hindrance, particularly if you had a few bumps and bruises. 
Um, looking forward to that. It's going to be another tough game. <coughs> Massively tough game. Um, obviously, they're one of the favourites to go up. We need to make sure that we, we go about our business. We need to start better. And then we need to make sure the bench has an impact because that's where we lost it in the Challenge Cup. Um, so we need to be ready for them. I know they'll be ready. They've had a good win today at home to work into. So uh, both sides unbeaten going into this one. Good Friday clash under the lights at South Leeds. Can't ask for any more on Easter. Cheers Dean. Cheers uh, Scott. All the best and good luck for Friday night. Thank you. Cheers.